and welcome once again to Akosia's vlog. If you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell when you're done. In today's episode, we are preparing light soup or in Kran Kran Kwai as it's probably called by the Akan tribe in Ghana. Come with me as I take you through the process today. I will list the ingredients in the description box below so do check it out. I have my onion, my carrot, this is optional, my tomatoes, I have my habanero pepper, some okra, my garden eggs, you can add ginger and garlic if you want. I also have my salt to taste, my homemade natural spices, this is about it tablespoonful of it i have my idan fruit or precursor this is very good for blood pressure so add it when preparing your soup i have my tomato paste it's also optional though and my meat i have beef some pig feet i have my adrenaline and then my smoked mackerel you can add any protein of your choice as well first of all i'm going to start with my meat because it's the hardest so i'm going to cook it together with my pig feet After I'm going to add salt to taste, this should be the saltiest part of your food because I won't add any salt again to my food when I'm done. After you cover it to allow it to cook till the water has been absorbed or has been evaporated and then you start preparing your vegetables to cook it too. I prefer to chop them first to know whether it's pulled or not before i boil it on my stove you can boil it together with your meat too that way all the nutrients get inside the soup as well so you see when i cut the garden next one was pulled if i'd cooked it whole i wouldn't have seen it so it's always good to chop them first before you cook it When I'm done, I'm going to boil everything together for at least 7 to 10 minutes or so as soft and then I will blend it. Yeah, this is after 8 minutes it's soft so I'll just take it out and allow it to cool before blending it. Today we are going the old lady's way so we are not going to blend our uh, onion today we are going to chop it like our grandmothers do in the kitchen so i'm going to cut them into cubes today when you add it directly it's, it will be like you adding a blended onion and ginger to your meat and it's okay trust me it comes out perfectly well at the end of it all it will melt into the soup so if you don't have a blender you can do it this way this is the traditional way of preparing a soup after i'm going to check on my meat to see whether the water has been absorbed or has been evaporated now i like the result so i'm going to add my tomatoes and one of my onion after i'm going to add the chopped onions to it again i'll add my Homemade spice to it. I'm adding about half a tablespoon full of it and then I will mix everything together Now when you want the sweetest soup always make sure your onions are plenty I love onions in my food because it gives it Sweet taste and then it's also aromatic as well. You can add ginger at this stage But then I am not adding because I'm adding my precursor today now i always season my meats with my precursor and trust me so good after i'm going to blend my carrot my garden eggs and my pepper together till it's smooth after about five to ten minutes the tomatoes and the onion is fully cooked so i'll take it out and then add my blended vegetables
when i'm done i'm going to rinse my blender and then set my soup so i'm going to rinse it with a lot of water remember that i first of all cooked my meat because i don't want any hard meat and i want my meat to season well so i'll just add just a little water above it and then i'll add my tomato paste together with it and then stir till it's well dissolved i'll then cover it and allow it to simmer on medium heat till after some time and then i'll come and check up on it now look at how beautiful and gorgeous is cooking so i'm going to add my proteins so i'm adding my fish this is my smoked fish remember we smoked fish the last time i'll leave the link in the description box too so check it out and i'm adding my adrenaline i intentionally broke them into smaller pieces so that it will melt into my soup yes after make sure that whilst you are cooking be cleaning the outer parts of the saucepan to make the food neat and then start chopping your okra too now when you cut into wet and it doesn't cut easily it means it's pulled in tree we say asane it is a one one a bed in dandy one coin to say the only thing to win me yet on chain and then i'll continue with the rest of it you can chop them into smaller sizes but i prefer to chop it into bigger size like you see here that way it won't melt into the soup after you drop it into the soup always make sure that you add your okra when you are about 10 minutes away from the food being cooked that way you don't overcook the okra or it doesn't become overly soft then you add your onion and then your tomato blended together into the soup just add a little water to one taking it at this stage and allow it to simmer for 10 minutes or till the okra is soft enough to be eaten now how would you know that your light soup is ready you see when we started it was foaming on top but now the foam has reduced drastically so look at it now it's well done this is to my preference i like my light soup a little bit thick so if you want yours lighter just add a little water to dilute it and then allow it to simmer for an extra two to five minutes before serving it so you can eat this with any swallow or rice of your choice today i'm going to eat mine with fufu so you can also eat yours with rice and you're good to go taste for salt at this stage and add or adjust accordingly i am not going to add any salt to my food because i already add all my salt when i'm trying to cook my meat for the first time so it's okay if yours is not add just a little to your preference now to fadi ibrahim ali papayao leticia kumi from oh you guys are the best i love you so much for the support you've been giving me all the time i see you sharing my videos out not forgetting anita I'll say to my lovely anita thank you so much for the support now the food is ready to be served and look at it i'm going to eat this with banku and others in the house are also going to eat this with fufu too so why don't you give me a feedback when you're done preparing your light soup too now you can comment in the comment section when you are done with it Thank you lovely people for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share me out, comment on my video and give me thumbs up when you do. Thank you once again and bye-bye.